Welcome back. I am off to the third level. Now, I hope this is the third level. I think it's open. Yes. Oh, it's Minecraft. I'm pretty much assuming this is going to be a Minecraft ripoff. Or Roll and Rogue. Okay. So. Oh, Legend of Zelda. Sort of. Now this I like. This I like a lot more than the 3D. Oh, I know we even have like Final Fantasy-esque um, stats up in the corner. Though it is a little unusual. Um, uh, how do we fight them? Also, AI companion running off and starting fights without my uh, permission or help. And no explanation of what the buttons are or how to attack or anything. That's a bit of a um, problem. I just had to la randomly mash buttons and to see what did what. Okay, why is that one... Oh my god, really? All right, we've got some crits going on. Also, I noticed her health hasn't been restored. And every single one of these is getting, like, ten more health. How do... There's no explanation how to defend myself. There we go. You should have started with a bunch of 20 health ones. Just to build things up and get people used to it rather than like empowering them so once again we have multiple 60 jeez okay walking into them hurts you but it's really easy to do ah 80! Come on! Have some consistency! You should have one set of enemies be 20, one set of enemies be 40. Like, all the flies be 40, and then maybe a more powerful, more, uh, different coloured version of the enemy to be... Well, I'm about to die, and there's nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing. Other than mash, p attack, and hope. Uh... You know, it'd be helpful if she attacked it. Thank you. Ah, oh, all right. Again, I like the design. The combat, pretty damn terrible. Especially with the lack of healing outside of combat. I have to literally kill things to heal. And thus you can get caught in a very easy loop of, hey, I don't have enough HP to kill this. Also, the, the T-junction at the start, why is this... That's far too long. That's far, far too long. It, 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 I'm sure I've gone over this in other videos for other games. This kind of design with like really long paths and you know nothing along the way is usually considered relatively poor game design because it is nothing but a time sink and a time waster to add. Um, longevity to the game in an artificial manner. Oh, I can talk to him. Okay. Well, going off up north then. Oh, look! Now I'm at power level 2. I can do the fireball. Yeah, that would be in fun to know because it didn't let me do it when I first pressed it, so I presumed I'd have to go find it and pick it up. I mean, this is a bit better because um, even though it does less damage, I, I don't take any damage. And, you know, AI is still useless. There we go. Now I've got a key. I presume I've got to go all the way back the other way and sort that out. Alright, this was the first stage it seems. Hello, strange nymphs. Sparky the spider. OK. 
Okay. In we go. Level two. At least I keep my power up for the last level. Reach the stairs first, you have to open two locks. For the first, you have to go first to the right from the bottom and open it with the blue tip key. And then for the second, you must go to the very far right, but across the top. <sighs> yes, yes, I basically gotta go right. And it'll go split into a two. Just gonna hope. She's facing the wrong bloody way. Great. Great. The AI is going to die because it's facing the wrong way. Okay, you get healed. Your flimmin' liability. Oh, very pretty. Fortune, I can't. I can only do attacking like. Wait, why don't you use her range attack? If she's got one. Right, button mash. Get hit inexplicably, even though it's constantly being hit, and in stun lock, it finds a moment to get a swing in. And, yeah, this is as tedious as it looks. Well, I've discovered you can have multiple enemies attack you at once, which is not fun. And also there was a glitch when I was hitting one enemy, instead the damage went to another one, even though the other one wasn't, one the, one, wasn't the one being hit. So that was a little quirky. Oh. Well, thank you for picking that up. Still annoyed I'm having to deal with this bleeding thing. Now, honestly, in terms of design... How this should have gone is you start off with a bunch of weak blue block cubes that are all about 20 each. Then you come across the flies, they're 40 to 50. You deal with that. And then, rather than having the same two enemies over and over... I mean, oh yeah, and you had the spider as well. Forgive me for not mentioning that. But yeah, rather than having the same two enemies over and over, what you have is then a recolor. You know, to reference the old school games of Hey, this has got a... Now you're facing the red slime, or in this case, the red block. And then later on, a green one. And, you know, then that's how you make them boost. Also, this spider, OP. OP when it comes to destroying the AI. Who is not defending herself at all with her abilities. Oh, and I, I didn't even get a uh, health potion or anything after that one, I don't think. I didn't get a uh, pickup noise. I didn't see one drop unless she, it instantly went into her. Yeah, but... Oh, come on. <laughs> there's nothing here. All right, well, I take that back. There was something there, but there's... There's nothing to keep the player interested when they're moving from one bit of scenery to the next. There's nothing visually engaging. It's not like you're having to go for a small maze. Now I've got to find where the door is. Alright, found the door. Decided to just open it whilst uh, my partner was dealing with the spider. When I say dealing with, mostly getting eaten by. Can you stop killing her? There's no point making us more powerful. The, all the enemies are going to get increasingly more powerful every single one you come across. Seriously, it's like each of the enemies, one by one, has gotten more and more powerful, which forces you to kill every single one of them to get slightly more powerful. So, if I remember right, we were told to go from right. So what's to the left? No, no. If, if, if we know the key is to the right, let's go left. Let's have a look. Is it bonus fights? Is it going to be another one of those little heart pieces? Heart key? Okay. Interesting. Oh, we're up to like the 300s now here in the enemy stats. This is just taking so long. It's such a horrible grind. 
and I honestly don't think I'm going to get through it without more, like, random health drops in the place. Certainly, I will be by myself, and uh, I don't know what happens if one of us... Is it one of the case if one of us dies, we both die? Because I don't know. If that's the case, that really sucks, because I can't stop the AI from doing stupid crap. Now, if I can just... If I could just make it do range attacks, or if it's preferred... Um, De you know, a first attack with range attacks. That wouldn't be so bad. Well, oh look, she died. She died in events I could not control, and it was game over for me. I'm not bothering. I I think I'm going to take a break for now because I honestly don't think that I'm going to be able to do this. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do this. I can't power level. I can't avoid enemies because the enemies get increasingly tougher as you go along. And the AI is dumber than a sack of bricks and instantly runs into trouble. Now, if I can shoot my fireballs from, from this distance, look at that. Look at that. I want to attack from a range and she's running forward. She's even attacking the wrong goddamn way. So, yeah, I am going to... Um, say that this needs fixing before I can continue doing any more of this because I see this being literally trial and error complete fluke whether or not you get through because essentially can you get past all these enemies enough do enough damage distract them enough to stop her from dying because she's an absolute goddamn moron. Now, I, I, actually, I'm already started, so I will give it one more try. But if she dies again, then I am basically calling this um, version busted until, you know, there's a fix for this. All right, she's dying faster than last time because um, I've not been able to quite stun lock the enemies as much. See, it's like I'm right next to him hammering the fireball button and problem is she hits them then i hit them while they're still invincible and uh, see oh random damage there Let's see if i can try swinging and punching away i mean it's gonna be an absolute uphill struggle i really don't see this going anywhere okay i'm about where i left off last time i'm in a much better shape because i've been kiting these buggers around a lot Hopefully, I can get them to attack me instead of her. Or just keep them stun lot like this. I mean, usually they usually get one attack in rather than three now that I've discovered the fireball. Fireball's a really good way of just keeping them in place while she gets in place. So make sure I don't walk too close to them whilst I'm punching. We should be okay, fingers crossed. Alright, we're on the same spider as last time. This has gone a lot quicker because I actually know where I'm going, but the spider's getting a few attacks in. Come on, turn the right way. She's only been hit once, but still 16 damage is way more than what we're doing, and they have more health than us. And, you know, as I've pointed out, we can get more attacked by multiple enemies in one spot if you get too close to uh, many of them at the same time. All right, finally. That's actually kind of adorable. I, uh, basically 500 health. I'm just going to black you from a distance because she's actually broken. And that's a good thing because it means she will not be running into combat and thus getting me in trouble. So I can stun lock you all I want. I just have to make sure I don't get cr crippling um, repetitive strain injury in my thumb. This one changed colour about halfway through its health. Again, still can't do anything, still sunlocked, still tedious as hell to do. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ugh. I mean, the fact that I've got like several power levels up and I'm still like only doing nine damage. Again, what's the point giving me higher power levels if you're going to keep making the enemies have stupid amounts of health? Okay, she can't use her glitch shield when she's severely injured. Well, I mean, it's not like I get told what I can do anyway. I still don't know where that heart key is, but this is a long walk back. 
Okay, we can go to the next level. We've got the heart key. I'm going to go for the heart key. I'm going to probably regret this. We'll probably have some stupid mini boss or something. That will screw us up. No, no, you stay over there. That's perfectly fine. No, 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 no. I thought I could have got... I could have gotten away there. Oh. It is literally just a heart. The only one of those that was hidden behind something. That was a bit disappointing. Didn't even level us up. Ah. <sighs> I mean, if it had been three hearts, I would have understood. Alright, one last cavern cave. This screams boss... E well, it did until I saw the T-junction. But I say, this screams sort of like boss uh, entrance way. No. Don't run into it. Don't run into it, you idiots! More different coloured flies who are ridiculously overpowered. Frickin' now, 460. Again, I'm gonna keep complaining about this because it keeps coming up. You've given them far too much health and... This is not fun gameplay. It is tedious. It is very tedious. None of these guys need more than 200 health at most. Ah, oh, for Freaking say! Ah, now I've got to kill this bloody one. All right, through my random tr journeys and somewhat fumbling uh, approach, I have found a key. Not that I have a clue where the door is, but I found a key. Oh, for twenty-five bloody damage! Come on! Seriously, god damn it! Ah, oh, I am, I am been trying to be nice through this whole thing and not be an ass, but oh, Dev, why are you, why do you have such a bloody fetish for like the stupid difficulty, not the, you know, skill based difficulty that you had back in the day. This reminds me of the uh, Nintendo Hard, as in the NES games that were just difficult for the point of difficult to the where the developers purposely made them unfair as to make it sure that people couldn't complete them quickly because um, they need, wanted them to be bragging rights if you beat them. And those had some very player unfriendly design options. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know I could have walked away there and but he just kept following me. There we go. At least I'm at full health, even if she's a bit knackered. If, as long as the enemies keep focusing on me, it shouldn't be too bad. Well, that's the that's a blue key. Where the hell do I use this heart key? Can I pick up multiple keys? That is another question. Or will I be stuck with only being able to carry one key? All these questions are more maybe answered if I find another key and don't die. All right, I found the heart key at the end of here. There's a room that I was full of spiders, which I've mostly ignored. There's been people to kill over here. We've got a blue key and one of the uh, evil things. Oh, six. Freaking hell, stop it. Stop giving these things more health. She it was not even facing her. She's just next to it and she's taking damage. Come on. Oh, God. Damn it. Giving these enemies multi-hit attacks that do... Um, well, multi-hits. It's just a case of, it's just not fair. Because they'll just use them on the AI. And, you know, it won't try to avoid or back off or anything. It'll just stand there like a gulp. It's freaking hitting her from behind. You can, you can definitely feel the frustration in my voice, can't you? It's that obvious. This is like the bad old days when I used to absolutely lose my rag. This is what it's bringing me back to. That's the sort of frustration I'm actually feeling build up. And I've not felt that in years. I mean, I've had played games that are just bad. You know, and those have annoyed me. And just made me more depressed than anything else. Just kind of like tired and just weary of it all. But this one, this one is actually frustrating. This is genuinely irritating. All right, there's some enemies I haven't killed, and hopefully that won't bite me in the ass. But uh, fingers crossed, we'll be okay. Ah, oh, I'm already feeling that like I should go back and just go mop up the other enemy, like 
two or three enemies that I missed. I mean, I have killed a few, but it's like, it means going down the corridors I didn't pick at the start. It's like, come on. Now, I've got to get its attention. It's like, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. You got to do your charge? Yeah. And then I just take a few steps, keep fireballing it. And then I have to make sure it doesn't change its attention. No, no. Look at me again. Look at me, you bugger. Because the enemies don't have any tells just before they have their attack. They just come at you. They just glide across the ground at you. So it's, it's not even like you can knowledgeably avoid them most times. No, 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 no. I fucking hate these things. The, the hitbox is absolute garbage. The fact they can just hurt around them. Yeah. She's such a... Stop standing there like a goon. Move away from it. Oh, and a green key as well. Oh, this is going to be fun and giggles. I, I am not completing this level. I am genuinely not completing this level because the AI companion is such a bloody liability. All right, hopefully, yes, I managed to tank it so the stupid little moron following me didn't die. I was, I had so much luck last time with her just getting stuck somewhere so I could just stand back and fireball because her charging in is just, oh, it, it means that I have to go charging in and if I can't bait the enemies away from her or they have stupid hitboxes like the cute little ram things, um, I start taking damage and she takes damage anyway. I've got to do one more lot of keys. Oh, God. And it's the flies. I flimmin' hate the flies. They are just horrible. Oh, you... We didn't even get a drop on it this time. See, how fast is this thing attacking her? I'm fireball fireballing it constantly. I was... Bloody behind it, and it still did damage to me. God damn hitboxes on these things. I am just going to stand here like a moron and just pray. I Dead over. And that is exactly why I am giving up on this for now. Dev, it's like four steps forward, three steps back. You're doing so well. You improved and people can actually get past the first damn level. Randy can actually pra platform now. You've made it so you can actually understand what the stage ability is. I mean... There's still a lot of tweaks that need doing, but it was getting. Pro it looked professional. It could have done so much better, but now, nah. ah, oh, levels. Actually, no feedback. Let's just go back to feedback in, in general. First of all, your levels are too large in terms of spacing of the rooms, the giant box rooms, and stuff like that. The moving from point A to point B is just time consuming and is just falsely expanding the game it's it's false uh, longevity um no sorry false last i'm so tired i'm sorry i'm absolutely burnt out right now yeah but it's basically uh not great especially on that dungeon section because when you get to one end and pick up the key it is just then a really long slog back now, you do need a certain amount of space to dodge enemies and battle them. On the first set of levels, though, the enemies are a very set pattern. So, you don't really need it that much. And you could just walk around them if you wanted. So, again, it's a bit of a problem because it means you, um, your enemies are actually just not a risk whatsoever. Second of all, how to put it? The camera. The camera's the big thing. The camera is absolutely frustrating for every level It's I have to control it in. It is just constantly fighting against me and is the biggest opponent in the game. Those are the two big ones. There's a lot of little niggles that cropped up throughout. And just little things that poked away made me get increasingly frustrated. Oh yes, the, 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 the third level's enemy HP. I think I've spent a whole video getting frustrated about that that's just dumb seriously that was just tedious i've spent the better part of an hour going through that single level i mean it's been at least 45 minutes and i apologize i am actually quite fatigued after spending so long doing this 
because uh, I've done it all in one sitting. And uh, yeah, it's just I'd like I'm looking forward to the next update. I just don't think I'll be playing any more of this one. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.